Hello, nerdlings. What's up, nerdlings? So, uh, if you guys are not checking out Back in the Day Gamer, you should be. Because not only does he have cool videos, but if you see the shirt, you know that it's what he likes to call Nudie Magazine Day. Oh my god! It's Nudie Magazine Day! He does. He doesn't really get nudie magazines. Nudie magazines. He gets VGM. Yeah. He got so, VGM. What is VGM? VGM is a monthly subscription where you can do a one up, two up, three up, five up, twenty up, billion up, a zillion up games in your VGM. subscription. VGM. I hope you're listening to her and get some <laughs> ideas. God, can you imagine what that one would cost? No, because it's it, it's still we get the three game box, so we're still paying for the three games, but they're up oh, it to a billion. I see. Yeah. Come on, VGM. <laughs> so we have Floyd, the mascot and on the Floyd. front. Yeah, he's all over the place because he always packs these boxes of retro goodies. Now, VGM, real quick, subscription monthly box where you get to pick out what consoles you want some games for. You fill in a list telling them what games you already have so you don't get the same game twice unless you just want to and then you can give it to your buddy. And they send you some new games because they're like, hey, I saw all the games on your shelves and you've probably beat all those already. So here, here, play these games. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> all right. Well, you like to blindly hand them off to it's me. So fun. I shall wait on you. Give me something good. I'll close this eye so I can't see. So we got our card. Now this says win three free games. It tells you to share a photo of what you got on Facebook with VGM. And if they like it, they'll send you some extra games. And this is the card every month that reminds you to repopulate that list. Update it with the games that you get so you don't get those duplicates. Now, we did not get a card up this time okay but we did get a one-up so it's like a secret one it is a secret one it's like I, that invisible because i noticed there wasn't a card because they always send you a card this is one up two up three up you know and i was like it's not in here so i was like oh but i counted so we it's got a magnetic a nice a little magnetic because they calendar. do like to always throw in a little something like a little fun thing oh, oh that's I, not not very good steel yeah but yeah like she said they throw in a little something yeah. What are some of your favorite things that they've thrown in? Um, the whistle was fun because it annoyed you. And um, I don't know if this is for all the ladies out there, but it's got a rape whistle on it. Oh. So. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was not fun for me. Actually, the, no. The glasses The, the were sunglasses fun. were probably my favorite. Okay, open your eyes. Oh, they sent us some sunglasses. sunglasses! Nice. I tell you what. It's probably a good idea they did because Oak City Gamers, they're always trying to steal my 8-bit shade. They are. Well, Pixel are just, you know, because I'm a gamer. <laughs> because you can never have enough pairs of sunglasses, like leave yeah. them all over the place. Leave them in the car because you know once you get in the car, you forgot yours. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what about the chapstick? The chapstick was good. Um, the bottle opener was a good one. You know, we could have sent the chapstick to uh, Rebel Gaming Club for uh, that ashy lips. Ooh. A headbutt? You see, he has ashy ass lips. Why is his lips ashy? Why has he got big lips? It's a sore sub subject. We don't talk about that. Let let's go on to the games. <laughs> so, the first one has a very shiny label. Okay, I like shiny labels. And it's got legendary things on the front of it. Is this Pokemon? It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Pokemon. It's oh, a Japanese nice. So, uh, 64. Pocket Monster Stadium. So, yeah, we recently started getting the Japanese N64 yes. because we like to get the Famicom games. And the Super Famicom. And the Super Famicom. They started offering these. Yes. And by the way, thank you, VGM. They left a comment on our last video letting us know to play this in our system. All we need is a Game Shark. Oh, nice. And we are good to go. Sweet. So, no mods or anything. Um, we just can't read it. 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Our little one, she really likes Pokemon, so uh, she could probably figure out what's going probably, on. Yeah. But I noticed that uh, this is like a heavy card. Yeah, it is kind card. of it's it like feel heavy. heavier. It's but, because of all the pocket monsters they had to cram in there. I know. They squished them down. Squished them. But it's a very shiny leaf. It is. It's very nice. It's like metallic. They, uh, Japanese games often looked a lot prettier. They had like the cooler box yeah. art and everything. Uh, and just real quick, I don't, I don't know anything about the Pokemon Stadium games. We have the two American ones, but I've never played them. I have heard that they're not exactly like a typical Pokemon hmm. game, so... Next, we have something that Nintendo don't. So something from Sega. Yep. And I'm peeking because you're peaking. taking too long. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to think of something, you know. So we have a copy of Tailspin. I Tailspin's a wheel. I can't tail. <laughs> tail. <laughs> I can't tail. You can't tail. So were you I, punning or were you having a Missouri you accent? Were, you're messing me up with the theme song. <laughs> I cannot tell <laughs> if it is a rough cart or if it's just like a little dirty on the label. Uh -huh. But uh, who was a fan of Tailspin? I love Tailspin. Tailspin. That's why I know this theme song. Oh, we oh, Tailspin. I wasn't. I oh, couldn't get into Tailspin. Tailspin. I did like... Uh, Becca what's, and... what's the kid's name? Uh, Kit? Kit. I liked his like little cloud surfer That was thing. cool. That would like that was fold neat. out. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I liked about it. But uh, the rest of the cartoon, I never really got into. But I didn't really like have an affinity to the Jungle Book oh, movie. Yeah. You know? See, I wasn't that big on the Jungle Book movie either. I just liked this one because I like animals that cartoon animals that talk, and it, to me, it felt like a continuation of like of the uh, Robin Hood one with the foxes. Yes, I could see. Because that. that's why I really liked Rebecca, and I think she was like a fox or something. Oh, was she a fox? She was foxy. <laughs> now, I do not see anything on here that says uh, that it was made by Capcom. Mm -hmm. I know that Capcom did a lot of Disney games, and typically they did a good job oh, okay. on Disney games. So I'm very much looking forward to playing this, even though I wasn't a Tailspin fan. Ah, I totally want to check this one out. It's a Tamagotchi. Oh, on Game Boy? I know. I never wow. got a Tamagotchi. I always wanted one. Mom, My mom bought me a knockoff. like A Gamatachi. Yeah. <laughs> so... Well, this will be interesting because uh, what did you have to do in Tamagotchi games? You did you have to, to feed them? Yeah, basically you had, it wasn't like a real animal, but it was like a creature that I think it hatched out of an egg and then you had to feed it and bathe it and discipline it and take care of it and raise it and not kill it. So. Discipline it. Well, with the ring hand, no less. <laughs> well, it will be very curious to see how it works on to, Game Boy. Yeah, check that one out. Because did they, didn't they have like a clock? Yeah, it like was you all had, in like real an time. internal clock, so yeah. like you had to feed them at certain yeah. times. So I'm curious if the Game Boy version has like a battery backup for that same mechanic. Yeah, and then the next thing we got is from Dreamcast, and it's sealed. Oh, oh, so this makes it tough. Do you open it or not? Yeah. Now, I mean, we don't really, we don't really care if a game is sealed or not. We just like our games and we like to play them. So uh, it'll probably be open. But this <laughs> is Coaster Works. Now, kind of like a coaster tycoon. Kind yeah, of game. that's that's kind of the first thing that I came up with. And on the back, it does show. It looks like you are making all kinds of roller coasters. So the question is, is this like a knockoff one that's maybe not as good as Roller Coaster Tycoon, yeah, or maybe that this was, was always like the fun if you gym. didn't finish the roller coaster oh and then gosh, you you're hit one of those. <laughs> you watch it go. Wee wee! I crash. <laughs> Ah, crash. Ah, crash. Ah, we're dead. Of course, I'm also one of those people that when I got annoyed with my Sims back before they died, back in Sims 1, if I didn't like them, I'd put them in the pool and I would delete the ladder and they'd drown. Don't leave me alone with her, guys. <laughs> well, it was the only way to get rid of annoying Sims. <laughs> well, I'm pretty pleased with this. Yeah, this uh, is a good one. I always love to get it's a, a nice good variety. variety. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know... Uh, Especially with the disc-based games, I was very hesitant about that because when it comes to disc-based games, I would like them to complete. Yeah. Uh, cartridges, I'm not so big on. You know, if I have the cartridge, it's fine. But uh, <laughs> we have animals oh. running around through the house. Sorry, <laughs> if the dog and the cat tell. just attacked each other. <laughs> but uh, I do like to have the 
the disc one's complete because it makes me feel better about the quality of the disc. You know, feels like it's not going to be all scratched up. So, yeah, got some stuff from Nintendo, some stuff from Sega. Should be, should be a lot of fun. So, uh, all right. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested in getting your own VGM. Yes. We always love to see what you guys get. Yes. Because sometimes we get a little jealous of what you guys get. And uh, you'll have to let us know if you've played any of these games. And maybe if you're a little jealous of any of these games. And if you are, get your VGM. Yeah. Or maybe they'll send get it to you. Get your VGM. Now we've got to go online and update our list so we don't get these games again. Exactly. All right, well, nerdlings, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow us what on Instagram else? and Twitter and Facebook for the close wrapper pictures and all that other good stuff. And don't forget to go to T Public and get your DU Nerd swag, and then send us pictures of your swag to be in a video because we want to yeah. show off that you guys like that stuff. All right, well, um, what should I let you do first? Should I let you kill a bunch of Poor innocent people on a roller coaster They're of dummies. doom. They're dummies. They're not real people. Or should I let you have some fun taking care of digital life? I want to take care of Tamagotchi. Uh, life uh, uh, finds a way. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings.